Yo, what's up everyone? Moses here, uh, another Path of Exile video guide. This time, Caswell channeling build. Uh, we're using uh, Ice Spear and Winter Orb. Winter Orb as our channeling spell and Ice Spear to deliver some serious, serious single target damage. Uh, this is how it works. This is how it looks like. Feels pretty good. Everything dies. Already killed uh, three Uber Elders with it. No jewels. Rip. Uh, let's go over the links. We have uh, Ice Spear and Winter Orb, as well as Control Destruction, Increased Critical Strikes, uh, Hypothermia, and Greater Multiple Projectiles. Uh, the staff we're using is a Shaper Staff, uh, Eclipse with the implicit crit chance 100%. And then uh, Socket Gem supported by level uh, 18 Arcane Surge, hybrid with increased spell damage. Socket Gems deal 20% more spell damage, which is a uh, fossil uh, mod from Etheric Fossils. And um, supported by level Cast While Channeling. So, yeah, we also somehow managed to get a bunch of resists. And I crafted increased cast speed here um, because, well, it just feels good. So. Yeah, uh, allowing the um, Winter Orb to get uh, um, to maximum stacks pretty quickly, as you can see. Yeah, so yeah, for the rest of the links, we have uh, Power Charge on Crit with Orb of Storms. This is how we generate our Power Charges. Calling Strike and Chain, so everything that has 10% or less HP will immediately die. Uh, over here, the uh, Boots, we're using a... Immortal Call with uh, cast one damage taken, cast Immortal Call, Bone Chill, and Frost Bomb. Only Frost Bomb is linked to Bone Chill. Cast one damage taken, only cast spells, cannot cast support spells. So we just want to keep uh, level one Frost Bomb, level one Immortal Call, and I mean level five, whatever, 800, whenever we take some damage, this thing procs with Frost Bomb. Frost Bomb will then apply. Bone chill, which means monsters will take more damage, and when it hits, when when we're hit by a projectile that deals this amount of damage, bo uh, frost bomb will then uh, proc under the enemy. Um, so you don't have to target it, you don't have to self cast it. I find it to be pretty comfortable. Uh, the rest of the links we have uh, Herald of Ice and uh, War Banner as our reservation. Uh, Herald of Ice is linked with Innervate, which will give us. <clears throat> Increased damage to Herald of Ice and Innovate bonus that gives us additional um, damage, lightning damage, whenever we kill a shocked enemy, which happens all the time um, because we do have some lightning damage to spells uh, on our belt and we are an elementalist and whenever we crit, we shock and uh, yeah, pretty much Conflux um, allows us to shock everything, so this buff will be permanent. Um, nearly permanent throughout mapping with this type of setup. War Banner is just a 10% reservation that uh, allows us to get Adrenaline. Um, adrenaline, you can see in the gray uh, text at the bottom, grants 100% increased damage, increased attack and cast speed and movement speed, and additional 10% physical damage reduction. Uh, pretty sweet buff for very little reservation. <clears throat> uh, over here we got uh, Val Righteous Fire, we're not using actual Righteous Fire, Val Righteous Fire just gives us the last line in blue text says grants 39% more spell damage when the buff is active and with increased duration it's going to be active for about uh, 7 seconds, 6.96 seconds with increased duration uh, as well as phase run to give us this nice uh, burst of speed. Um, seems pretty good. Uh, slower projectile is just here because it was testing uh, greater multiple projectile and slower projectiles in this setup and even for single target greater multiple projectiles seems to be just doing great uh, because just more uh, ice spears and uh, it does feel uh, quite quite serious um, so slower projectile not really necessary but I was just kind of testing it um, for the helm uh, wait, did we go through all the links? We did. No, faster casting and flame dash over here. So normally I would link it with arcane surge, but I got lucky and got the arcane surge um, on the staff. So whenever we're spending, 
you know, see the arcane surge buff. It's kind, of, it's kind of like always up. Nothing you need to worry about um, with this hybrid spell damage, uh, arcane surge buff. <clears throat> um, yeah, for the helmet, I did pick a ice spear. Uh, fires an additional projectile, very strong. Um, and I crafted the fossil crafted with um, frigid and with pristine. Pristine for the hybrid life. Now that I look at it, it's actually not optimized because we just made this helmet. You may recognize this character. It may look a bit similar to you. Give me that 3%. 3% seems good. 90. Oh, yeah. Nice little roll. Very nice, very nice. Strength rolled a bit low, but who cares? Got a little bit of life there. Um, so, pristine and frigid to uh, get that nearby enemies have uh, negative cold res and pristine for this little uh, hybrid life roll of uh, life and percent life as well as we rolled a tier who, who knows uh, 68 to 2 maximum life here um, elder ring with curse uh, on hit I tried volleying it, but yeah, we got stuck with the physical damage to attacks. Uh, but yeah, this ring is very, very solid. We have uh, uh, some life, the resistances that I needed, Warlord's Mark on hit, which is how we leech and generate endurance charges while mapping. Uh, so this is leech, mana, and life. Uh, and being an Elder Ring enables the Mark of the Shaper that gives us up to 78% increased damage. Being an Opal Ring, more elemental damage and increase maximum life pretty uh, <clears throat> standard combo these days an elder ring with warlord's mark and mark of the shaper for any kind of self casters or any kind of casters out there uh, for the leech and then pandemonius which is tal's uh, upgraded version of the halcyon pandemonius gives us uh, damage penetration cold resist against chilled enemies um, 20% and big cold res, big cold damage and chill enemies and enemies are blinded um, while chilled which is why I don't use the blind over here and instead we swapped to calling strike usually we run um, overstorm chain blind so everything around this is blinded this is actually quite substantial buff uh, everything will be blinded pretty sweet uh, amulet overall um, and actually the first time I'm using it in a build. Uh, on the boots we got just life resist, some strength for more life and uh, the best I believe for single target for bossing the best uh, enchant you can get on a pair of boots which is damage penetrates if you haven't killed recently you get 10% uh, uh, increased damage. This is a belt that I had from a different character we just we, fire damage doesn't do anything for us here uh, we just uh, get the elemental damage from prismatic and life resists some mana from mind over matter and the jewel as we mentioned uh, gloves just life resists some mana um, over here implicit spell damage fingerless silk glove potentially I could get shaper gloves uh, and craft exactly that but also have uh, an increased uh, cast speed this could be potentially something that I actually am gonna do maybe maybe We'll probably have problems balancing our resistances if we did it, uh, but maybe something like that exists. I should probably check PV trade. Um, but yeah, Shaper gloves have the faster casting. Socketed gems are socketed, uh, supported by faster casting, and then hybrid with increased cast speed definitely could help our build. So if you could, uh, if you could manage it before you make the character, and you kind of like before you start balancing everything in resistances. Uh, could be you know a good slot to start everything from just to be able to have this so yeah whenever you build a character it's like okay what are the things that I most need so the negative cold res probably if you want to craft something so you craft that you see what kind of resistances you get um, yeah no suffix open here so and then um, something like this could be useful and then you start building up the rest of your uh, gear so this could be like kind of a nice anchor if you have something like specific that you want with like a shaper item or a negative resist helm something like that um, yeah I believe we covered everything low reef what is there else to say I kind of skipped it but it's amazing uh, <laughs> probably the most overpowered 
piece of gear that I equip still I don't know how this chest exists in the video game but it does elemental damage crit chance life mana maximum always are 80 a little bit of rarity on top some attributes this is a gorgeous gorgeous body armor obviously we don't need to six link it over here and they are pretty cheap like I've seen low risk for like 60 chaos um, yeah this time of the league things getting dirt cheap uh, for the flasking we have uh, bubbling of staunching always our instance life uh, life flask of uh, bleed removal warding on a chemist flask to remove uh, curses 15% uh, elemental is extra chaos damage the physical is kind of irrelevant and then alchemist of heat which uh, gives us increased move speed and uh, remove freezes and chills um, dowsing just because I had a free space normally I would like to put a wise oak in this slot but in this case I just went for onslaught more cast speed and movement speed and then dowsing to be able to remove burns on the pantheons uh, usually while mapping I use this um, I was doing uber elder so reduce cold damage for this fight but normally you want uh, immune to poison here which is a pantheon that you're getting from uh, yeah, I'm just about to kill Uber Elder. Join the stream. I'm just about to do it right now, after this video. So, uh, it's a pantheon that you're going to be getting from Desert Springs um, with the Divine Vessel. I have a video about it, exclamation pantheon, in my Twitch chat if you guys want to check out the video. Or you can just browse on my YouTube list. Good luck. Um, so, yeah, I'm into poison. That guy is persistent. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, D&D. D&D. Alright. So, yeah. Uber Elder is coming up. Pantheons. This is just, uh, um, yeah, for mapping, we're using the Soul of Lunaris with all the upgraded versions. But, like, really, it doesn't matter too, too much. Just use whatever it is. For, it depends on the situation. Um, yeah. I mean, the ring. Life, resist, Warlord's Mark, multi-modded for increased damage and some mana. Damage gained as mana. Um, damage gained as mana is actually quite useful. Uh, let me talk about it for a second. Since we're using Mind Over Matter, 30% of our damage is taken first from mana and then life. And then what happens sometimes, you're getting hit. Uh, especially in like Uber Elder fights, you're getting hit. And then uh, all of that damage comes off from your mana, right? And then you may have a situation where you don't have mana to then flame dash and if you're stuck in a shaper beam you then don't have a mana to flame dash so percent of that damage comes as mana basically gives us immediately the uh, mana that we require to flame dash away from the danger area you could also walk but it's less intuitive at least for me uh, so flame dash is usually when I get hit I just try you know uh, move away from there immediately so flame dash is what I uh, generally do um, so yeah something to keep in mind not very necessary but you know since we did uh, multi mod this ring the increased damage roll and all that and uh, damage over time um, sorry damage taken as mana over time seems pretty nice as well as contributes to our overall mana mind over matter seems Good, Elementalist. We are Elementalist. So, um, Pendulum of Destruction for the uh, Elemental Damage, Master Amount of Discord for the Penetration, the Herald stuff. Um, I did go Paragon of Calamity, although I was debating Beacon of Ruin. Ended up with the, you know, Elemental Reflect immunity. It's just too strong. Just too strong. So, I ended up going with that, uh, as well as increased damage if you're hit by this element and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Shaper of Desolation for the Conflux um, seems to be the right choices. For me, Elementalist, we're basically just going with all the crit, crit multi that we could get um, from the tree and all the life that we can get from the tree. So basically we're just following all the crit nodes and picking up life along the way. Uh, right here. Acro, phase acro. Uh, shadow, crit, and life, Templar damage, and life, it's always the life, always comes to the life. I will unspec over here, because, yeah, um, <clears throat> the cold damage over time, we're actually not doing any cold damage over time, um, decided to um, remove the whole 
Arctic Breath thing, and this is basically the same character, uh, except we are now going with the Ice Spear, which is doing amazing, amazing work. I mean, so I guess we can just pick up some life nodes. And what do you know? 6k. <laughs> Seems pretty good. We could pick some other damage nodes, uh, can think about some other stuff, or maybe uh, go Deep Thoughts. So these 8% to give us a bit more mana. Quite a bit more mana, so about 200 more mana. Seems good. I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, this is the tree currently level 92. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, let's go and run a map. How about we do Minotaur? Yeah, seems good. So you could uh, see some single target damage and potentially me getting one-shotted by Minotaur. Because <laughs> that can happen. Uh, that seems like a pretty okay, a uh, little quantity. We get some 85 or something. Still 78 for life, man. 66. 82. I don't like reduced flash charges. Just not fun. 101. Uh, no. Okay. Basically, we're looking for no leech or what other mod we're having problems doing. Oh, yeah, hexproof, right? Because we're leeching through hexproof, uh, through curses. So, there we go. Seems like a pretty good uh, map. I don't know. Minotaur has got some damage, cast speed, extra lightning, and, and turbo. Should be fine. Worst case, we die. Die all the time on stream. I don't see why it would be a problem in a YouTube video, right? It happens. I never ever said I play perfectly. Okay, I never claimed to play. Oh, we have temp chains. That's annoying. I didn't even notice. Anyway, so you drop the. Uh... Oh, look who's here. Oh shit! I thought it's. I thought it's a syndicate. It wasn't syndicate. It was just Einar doing his things. Alright, so that was Val Righteous Fire there, that's how it looks like, uh, in case you haven't seen it, I'm sure you have. Oh, this is the Syndicate right here, okay, let's do it. So yeah, it's kind of annoying to be so slow, um, but you know, temp chains, I guess I didn't look, so rip. I just specifically, it's not like we care, uh, most map bosses will insta-die, it's just Minotaur is not most map bosses, right? And it's kind of annoying to, uh, where are the Syndicate people? So yeah, when it comes to Ice Spear, it will destroy the Molish, like you see, it's just, for single target, it's kind of ridiculous. But, uh, one thing you need to note, it has two forms. Uh, the first form before it kind of like ships off, you see, right? This first form when it hits the enemy is um, doing very little to no damage, like really very little damage. The second form, this is the one you need, like the straight line, these will destroy, okay? So you basically want to keep enemies um, kind of like from from this kind of range right so you want to be a little bit ranged over here the uh, uh, winter orb somehow I have problems remembering the name of that thing so winter orb is uh, you know doing what it's doing but did you set out to become a monster? Remove rivalries, sure, sure, like that. So Winter Orb will do what it's doing, but you gotta make sure that you're in the correct type of, uh, you know. For map clearing, it doesn't matter, obviously. You're not gonna min-max every, um, every monster, like, distance for them to be hit with the Ice Spears, but for single target, uh, especially, you know, bosses and uh, syndicate people can be a bit tanky quite a bit right so you want them to whoa the double drops so you want them to be uh, uh, outside of the of the of the first form range you want them to be in the range of the second form so you can really really blast them uh, I'll leave you guys to wiki search ice spear for you to read all the uh, uh, details of uh, 
of the skill, second form with increased crit multi, crit chance. I mean, it's seriously, seriously, uh, pretty, pretty sickening <laughs> the amount of damage it delivers. Oh, look, only tool. And uh, he's gone, basically. So, yeah, I mean, the damage is actually insane. Um, um, I must say, when I first started this character, it was supposed to be a full conversion uh, to fire character. And I wanted to take advantage of the Elementalist. Like, the reason why I even played Elementalist in the first place is because um, it's like a little side story. The Shape of Desolation, I wanted to, co like, convert all my damage to fire with Avatar of Fire with... Uh, Call to fire skill uh, support gem and make uh, basically a fire winter orb with arctic breath that can also chill and freeze and shock but that's not really how it works when you have uh, avatar fire it seems and the plans uh, were foiled <laughs> unfortunately um, but instead um, I decided to go with kind of like a standard cold build and it turned out to be quite alright. Oh shoot, is it already over? I guess it is. Let's try and stack uh, Val Righteous Fire real quickly. Can we do that? I don't know. I think it's a bit too late. Oh no! What happened? I don't know what happened there. Rest. It's okay, it doesn't matter. What happened was I wanted to stack Val Righteous Fire. I didn't pay attention. Stood on the, stood on the uh, lightning ball, and uh, basically died. <laughs> so yeah, rip. It's okay. It's okay. We don't really care. Again, without all the time on stream, mistakes happen, and uh, yeah, I mean, rip. Okay, so let's go. We don't have any. Okay, flask charges. This is gonna be this is gonna be a bit tricky, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh, there's also a red beast. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, red beast. Maybe we'll just uh, I don't know. Come, maybe we could aggro the red beast before we aggro the minotaur. I had hopes. Oh, there it is. Where is it? I can't see. Oh, there are no more beasts. Seems good. Also, we got some, uh, um, so, I mean, I don't see him, but, yeah, if everything's working out nicely, you're not supposed to see him, you're supposed to just kill him, just from a range, he's gonna show up, temp chain is really kind of annoying. And calling strike over here. So you guys got just kind of like saw the the single target basically. That's how it looks like. <laughs> Wish I didn't die, but this is definitely uh, a very very strong build. We killed Uber Elder already three times yesterday. There's another Uber Elder coming, and Guardians are going to do that uh, on stream. You guys feel free to join. Awesome stuff. Super fun build. Must recommend it. So yeah, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, nothing is good. Seems fine. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys. Uh, see you guys on stream.